folks, I'm thankful for watching my video today. Today we're looking at the uh, Boeing 737 MAX 8. Uh, this one in the uh, Scandinavian Airlines delivery. Um, I want to thank Philip Hughes for uh, donating the delivery to this project. It's always good to come around with a delivery every time I ask. Uh, I've written my own flight dynamics for this aircraft and uh, created a, a custom cockpit as well. So I want to hop in the cockpit and uh, give you a bit of a tutorial on uh, the startup procedure for the aircraft. It's quite intense. Let's hop in the cockpit and have a look around. So here we are in the cockpit of the uh, 737 MAX 8. And uh, this cockpit is not meant to be authentic. It's not meant to be identical to what you would see in a 737 MAX 8, but it is remotely similar. Uh, more or less uh, what you would expect to see, but not meant to be identical. So we're going to go through the startup procedure for this. It's a little bit different than the, the uh, 737NG I did earlier, but uh, if, you did, if you did that one, this one shouldn't be too hard at all. First thing you want to do is open up the uh, pedestal, make sure your uh, idle cutoff switches are in the idle position. And then you go to the overhead. Now, what's different with this particular cockpit is I've created a way of starting the aircraft, regardless of whether you have ground power available or not. Uh, I've noticed in, in flying the uh, NG, uh, some airports do not have ground power available and made it a little bit more difficult to get the aircraft up and running. So I created uh, the ability to do it two different ways, and we're going to go over both ways. Right now we have ground power available, the ground power available light is on, so uh, we can go with that option. We turn on the uh, ground power and the main, bre main breaker. Turn on the generators. Fuel pump switches. And the emergency exits, fasten seat belts, no smoking. Turn on the hydraulics. Wing anti-ice, main fuel valve, APU bleed, P-Tot heat. And start up the APU. And you can see the APU is running now. You have an APU gen bus light turned on. Once you see this light come on, you know it's active. And at this point, we're going to go ahead and start the engines. Both engines are now running. Turn on the generators for those engines. And we're independent of ground power now, so we can turn off the APU. And set your fuel valve to auto. At this point, the aircraft is uh, independent. you ready, ready to go. You can turn on the exterior lighting. One thing you'll notice, you don't have a multifunction display, and that's uh, because of the IRS. This is uh, the same as what you saw in the uh, 737NG. You have to align this while you're stationary on the ground. And it takes a few minutes to uh, go through the alignment process. And there you can see the uh, IRS has come online. You have, now have a working uh, VR. 
Now, one thing that's new to the uh, 737 MAX 8 is the uh, cockpit commander. I want to go over a little bit about this and uh, explain what it's for. This is basically a shortcut to all of your functions, and it, it, it can be a real godsend when you're flying. For example, we have seen right now set at 3,000 feet. Um, air traffic control has given us an, an initial altitude of 6,000 feet, so I'm going to set that to 6, and the K is just for thousands, so 6,000 and altitude, and now the altitude is 6,000 feet. Vertical speed is set at zero, so we want to set that at 1,800 feet per minute. And you can see that's changed up here. Initial uh, indicated airspeed, we set that at 240 knots. Indicated airspeed, and that's set. We can also set our course. We want to set that at 180 degrees. Well, you can watch it up there, uh, it will change. You can pretty much control the entire flight from the cockpit commander. If you want to air, answer air traffic control, these are the uh, shortcuts, one, two, and three, for the air traffic control window. Pretty much anything you want to do with regards to navigation. Um, if you want to uh, set your navigation radios, um, I'm not sure where I'm at right now. I'm at uh, Kastrup in Copenhagen. So uh, if you want to set those radios, I'm just going to pick one end of the air here. Uh, 113.6. And you can set that to nav 2. If you wanted to set your nav 1, 111.1. Have one. So, as you can see, pretty much anything you want to do during your flight can be handled by the cockpit commander. It's a really uh, neat little tool, and I wanted to include it with the uh, Max 8 just to give it a little bit of extra technology. At this point, the aircraft is ready to taxi to the runway. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll try to answer them if I can. If I can't, I'll find the answer for you. Thank you for watching. Hi folks, and welcome to part two of the uh, startup procedure for the 737 MAX 8. And uh, we're currently parked at Los Angeles International Airport. And uh, one of them were a startup procedure without ground power. And um, this is new to the uh, to the max eight we didn't have this uh, with the ng so uh, you want to pay attention to this part of the video if nothing else so let's get started first thing we want to do here is make sure the uh, idle cutoff is, is in the idle position and we switch to the overhead now you'll notice this time Ground power available is not on. We don't have any ground power. So what we're going to do is we're going to rely on the uh, reserve battery power left over from our previous flight. So we open up the uh, little hatch here and switch this to battery. Turn on the main bus breaker and the generators. Turn on your fuel pumps. Make sure there's no smoking and fasten seatbelt signs are on. Hydraulic pumps. Make sure the uh, wing anti-ices are set to on. APU bleed on. Start the APU. This way, you have to be a little bit quicker because uh, you only have a certain amount of battery power. Eventually, it's going to run out if you don't get the engines running. We have an APU bus generator light. At this point, we can go ahead and start the engines.
Okay. You're going to notice that the uh, engine is only going to climb to about four percent N1, and that's to be expected. This is a different procedure than the uh, ground power startup. So we have to click the third button on the uh, APU, and that starts the engines. And you just want to make sure that the engine generators are running on both sides. At this point, you can go ahead and finish your preparation for flight. Turn on the exterior lighting. And as before, you have to align the uh, IRS. Takes a few minutes to come online. And there you have a working uh, multifunction display. Aircraft is now ready to taxi to the runway. It's independent of ground power. So you can turn off that APU. We don't need that anymore. You're all set to go. And as you can see, it's just a little bit different if you don't have uh, ground power available. Not a lot different, but uh, something to keep an eye open for. Once again, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll be happy to answer them if I can. Have a good day.